going on, riders? It's Paul with a Ride Home Review for this week. Uh, this week uh, we watched, uh, I shouldn't say we, it's just I, uh, watched A Quiet Place, which stars John Krasinski and Emily Blunt and is directed by John Krasinski. And before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to, uh, to me on YouTube, uh, like, like, it, uh, like Ride Home Reviews on Facebook and follow at Ride Home Reviews on Instagram. So the synopsis of the movie basically is a family. Um, it's uh, I don't want to really say post-apocalyptic, but I guess that's the best way to put it in a post-apocalyptic world, trying to survive uh, these creatures that hunt by sound. So if you make a noise, they locate you and they hunt you down. Uh, quite a life to live. Um, uh, what to say about this movie? What I liked about it, this was a fabulous movie. Well well done. It came out of nowhere. I didn't, I didn't expect anything like this. Kind of like uh, It Comes at Night, uh, another post-apocalyptic movie about a family trying to survive. And, uh, but this one, um, the fact that throughout the most... I think they may have like 20 lines in the whole movie and they have to be at a specific point. Um, but it's just like, uh, it's incredible how movies are really using sound, um, effectively. And it's really cool how this one did as well. And it just was cinematically. It was great. It was a good story. We didn't need a backstory. I mean, this is like, this is what's happening now. So let's just get into it. Um, what's going to happen? And uh, this is another reason um, uh, I think kids should get their own Oscar category because I don't know. No, I can't remember her last name, but the the older girl Millicent, she was she was fabulous, and and right there, um, you know, and I just really really enjoyed the way this movie was laid out it was paced well um it was tense um it was just there was jump scares i mean not too much and some of them were done with the sound um on purpose it just was really really good i don't know what to say uh negatively about this film there was a couple of uh points that were kind of like not real sound but you could see what they were doing for the sake of the film you'll see the parts that i'm talking about um uh you know not gonna give away spoilers but it's around the silo part um no spoilers not gonna ruin it for anybody this is this is a movie that i think and i don't know if you really need to see it in a theater um but you really got to have a good sound system otherwise you're going to miss out on some of the audio tricks that they did and um you know uh and, and so so on and so forth so so check that out i i really recommend that seeing this movie just for the simple fact if you like this type of thriller you won't be disappointed it keeps it on point um like i said there's no need for a backstory it's just about this family trying to survive in this world um but what to watch for is what's really key in this whole this whole grand scheme of foreshadowing throughout this film just wait for it is you know why right off the bat you know the family is communicating by sign language and you know you're like wow that's pretty cool but there's a reason so wait for that um it comes pretty early if you figure it out if you listen so so check it out a quiet place really liked it but not necessarily need to see it in the theater unless you have a good sound system. All right, there you have it. Movie of the week, uh, Quiet Place. Uh, so once again, subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow on Instagram, what's going on. More reviews coming. Until next week, see something cool. Bye.